Hey folks, welcome along to another little episode of the Kilted Drama with me, Gary, and me, Oscar. Okay, we're in the dining room for another little episode of Dining Room Drums, where we have a look at some of the uh, samples and miniatures that we've got lying around, don't we? Yes. Cool. Um, this one, uh, a little bit different. It's not a sample or a miniature that I've had lying around because it's part of a Cotswolds whiskey tasting experience that Oscar, his brother and his mummy bought when they were in England last week and they took it home for us to have a little uh, sample of. Um, it comes with five whiskies in the pack. There's a bottle of new make and then four different expressions. And the, uh, they're all, they're kind of colour coded, so different bottles, different labels on them. And what one have we got tonight, Oscar? Um, the Cotswold Peak Whiskey. Excellent. And what colour labels it got? Green, and it's a gold shell colour. Excellent. So, what we've got there, Oscar very eloquently told us, uh, is Cotswold's Peak Whiskey. It is the green one, and. Uh, my little apprentice here is even telling us that it's a kind of goldy yellow colour. So we'll pour it into the glass. Could you take the bottle, sir? Yes. Excellent. Um, so, uh, as I said, Peter's Whiskey, it's been released at a 59.3% ABV from uh, the Cotswolds Distillery down in England. This is the first English whiskey I've actually reviewed across the channel. I'd been staying away from it for a little while um, due to COVID. Um, nothing because of COVID, so to speak. It was just that I actually couldn't travel down to England. Um, so I'd sort of set myself, uh, I'm not going to pick up English whiskey in Scotland or what to see if I could actually get it from down in England. So uh, just as well that Amy and the kids brought this one back up to us from down in the actual Cotswolds. Fantastic. Um, as I said, beaten version. Um, let's have a little uh, sniff at this one and see how it goes. There's a nice vanilla um, head to it. Do you want to have a little sniff? Yeah. Start them young, yeah. So yeah, it's got a nice vanilla essence to it coming over. There's almost a kind of fruit cakey fruit, um, spicy sort of nice, maybe almost like a Christmas cake. Like a uh, a liquid Christmas cake. The ABV doesn't appear to be sort of burny or anything for quite a high ABV, 59.3. It's not overly strong on the nose anyway. Give it a little taste. Very fruity straight away. That stronger ABV for the first initial sip, first couple of seconds, you feel that initial ABV um, dies away and then there's that. I'd say it's more smoky than PT. Um, it's quite a nice mouth feel in it. Um, and it hits the back of the throat and again you get a bit of that fruitiness. Um, It's not an overly long finish, it's probably more short, maybe pushing towards medium, but it's quite a short finish for myself. Um, and I'm getting a bit of the smokiness and the fruitiness on the finish. There's maybe also an oakiness in there, sort of that tannins, uh, woody um, hint to it. I quite like that. Um, I was expecting for... <coughs> oh dear! Where did that come from? <laughs> Maybe that initial smell, sort of. Oh, do you know? um, yeah, I was expecting it to be... Don't, don't wipe your nose on your t-shirt. Okay, that must be his mum's habits, not mine. Um, yeah, I was expecting it to be slightly, um, I suppose, stronger, more of a punch with it being the repeated one, but maybe with it being a younger whiskey, um, you know, I was maybe expecting Maybe, I'm not going to say I was expecting too much because it's still really nice. But I think maybe I have to sit and try some of the other expressions before I give a full sort of thing and say what I think about the Cotswolds whiskey. But uh, it's not a bad drum. 
quite enjoying it. Um, I think I maybe need to delve a little bit more into Cotswolds and see what's coming out of there. But not bad. It's fun, you guys. What did you say, Oscar? Thank you. Cheers. Bye.